Now I mentioned several videos ago, way back when we were talking about the Excel interface, we were talking talking about the ribbon. The standard ribbon, you got home, insert, page layout, and so on. But the ribbon is very dynamic. For example, if I select my chart, just clicking someplace empty down there, I've now got two new tabs at the top of my screen, design and format. And I think I double clicked on there so it gave me this format chart area. I'm gonna close that, we don't need that right now. So just selecting the chart, two new tabs. From the two new tabs, this is my chart tools ribbon. I've got some design options that I can get into, I've got some formatting options. This is where you'll find all of the features that deal with your chart. Now I want to show off a couple of them here, a couple of the features, and we'll talk about a few others as we continue through this discussion of charts. Now first off, I've got a chart title. And right now all it says is chart title. That's not very descriptive. This should say um, monthly budget. So I'm just going to click where it says chart title. I'll go into there, highlight that text, and I'm just going to call this monthly budget. Now the chart title was given to me by default. The chart title itself is actually a chart option. It's something you could turn on and off. And if with my chart selected, I'll go back to the design tab and inside of here, I do have some options to change the way my chart looks, to change the way my title looks, as well as other operations. But talking about just the title all by itself, with the chart selected, specific to 2013, I can go to the little plus sign. Inside of here, I'll find all sorts of elements of the chart. One of them is chart title. I can go into there, and I can tell it where to show up, whether it's above the chart or centered over the top of the chart, or I can get into some additional options. Now, for me, I like it above the chart, so I'm going to leave it as is. For those of you that are watching this that are still on 2010 or earlier, you don't get the little plus sign. What you get is an additional tab up here at the top of the screen called Layout. If you click on the Layout tab, you'll find something very similar to the plus sign. You'll see chart elements with all the options. Chart title, data access, data chart, and so on. You'll find it all right there. So same little setup, just found on the Layout tab rather than the plus sign. Now something else you can do, whether it's on the Layout tab or in the plus sign, deals with the legend. I like the legend, I want to keep it out there, but I don't like it at the bottom. I want to put it at the top. Typically when I read a chart, it's kind of top to bottom. So I want to start at the top, see the legend, and then see the data. Something small, but I just like the flow better this way. So in the plus sign or the layout tab, we'll find the uh, legend. I'm going to go a little arrow here, and I'm going to tell it to put it at the top. So now I've got my legend there at the top of my chart. These are simple little changes, whether it's your title or the legend or some other feature, but we're trying to manipulate the chart to make it more accessible. It's a visual element. And the quicker the users can glance at the chart and recognize the data and make those business intelligent decisions based on what we're presenting, the better off we're going to be. So think about how you want to lay your chart out. What options do we want? There's a whole slew of stuff that you can mess around with here. I could spend an hour just talking about charts and all the features that are involved inside of a chart. But let's talk about just, just one more thing here. And this is something that I, I want to point out more because I want to show you that, you know what, even though you have all these features, you want to be careful about how much you add to the chart. Because once again, we don't want to make it too cluttered. And we still want to make it accessible and readable. Now, inside the plus sign or the layout tab, whichever version you're on, I'm going to find data labels. Go to little plus or go to little arrow here. And I'm going to tell them to go into the uh, outside end. So now I've got data labels that show up on my clustered column chart. And I like that, but it might be a little bit too much out there. We're going to discuss how we can maybe perhaps manipulate this and make the chart larger so it's not as cluttered in there. But once again, there's a lot of options that you can add through the ribbon or through the little plus sign based on whatever option or whatever 
version of Excel you have there. So try this out. Poke around. See what different options you have here. Poke around in the plus side if you're in 2013 or 2016. If you're on 2010, hop up to the Layout tab and you'll find some options there. So try manipulating your chart, adding some of these chart elements.